Christmas is coming! And Sancho Zing is flying to Kaboom City, loaded with presents. Is he going to bring something for Mr. King and Professor King? Mm, don't think so. Not even something small? <laughs> no. What about the rest of the villains? Impossible! But I want a present! Santa Zing only brings presents to those who behave well. And this year we've been very bad. What did we do that's supposed to be so horrible? Terrorizing Kaboom City? Putting heroes into a cell? Destroying their secret base? Cheating during the car race? They're just minor little pranks. We still have some days until Christmas. Maybe we can make up for all of that making a good deed, can't we? A good deed? Like what? <laughs> Some days later, Christmas arrived at Kaboom City, and while the whole city celebrates the holidays, <laughs> Santa Zing leaves presents for its citizens. We have to make room under the tree for Santa Zing's presents! Uh, is it him? Since when Santa Zing rings the doorbell before entering? <laughs> hey! Ready for the mess? Alarm! The villains! The villains? Relax, buddy. Didn't you see our message? You, your message? Today we're cooking! Excuse me! What message are you talking about? Hey, you came up with a pretty nice shock. Look. Food! What message are you talking about? Greek Roden sent it to you. Oh, the message. I forgot to send it. Here it is. Heroes, this Christmas we are cooking. We have to make a good day if we don't want to be left without presents. The mess will have to be in your base. Clang doesn't have electricity because of that dopey skateboy. See you soon. <coughs> your offer is very tempting, but... Okay, okay. We don't have time to chat. Let's go, guys! You've got to be kidding me! Do you think you're up to something? Mr. King and the Professor are behind bars. Without them, villains are unable to scheme anything. Oh, oil! This doesn't have any taste. Oops. There's nothing like a nice ice cream for just there. You did that on purpose. It was Kid Bones' fault, that stupid death. Who are you calling stupid? Don't be so bitter. Here, a bit of sugar. <laughs> Is open today. Santa Zing, how did you go in? What did you think? Did I ring the doorbell before entering? We were um, cooking. Yes. Do you want a bit of turkey? Oh. I don't have time for that. I have some presents to give. Finally! Presents! I want a big one. Mine is gonna be bigger than yours. Bigger than mine? Repeat that. Stop! Even now you have to keep on behaving badly. Mm, badly? Arrogant, greedy, and capable of working as a team. This year, do one half presents. <coughs> then? We were good for nothing? What did you think? That after messing it up for a whole year, you can fix it with a single carbonized dinner? You have to be good always, and not only at the end to get a present. <laughs> Maybe he's right. Then I'm gonna be good without expecting anything in return. 
I invite you to our free show, uh, a fireworks show. No, 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 fireworks, Watch out! The tree. What did I do? I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. Villains, you changed my mind. You helped with Team Rocket's attack without expecting anything in return. After all, I think you do deserve a present. Hooray! Even if it's smaller than Heroes' gifts. Ah. Are you complaining? <laughs> and that's how the villains also had their presents and spent a very happy night together with the heroes. However, someone isn't as happy as them, and that's Mr. King. The first citizen of Kaboom City, and I only get this piece of junk. At least there's something, boss. He knew that it's me who got him this present. I won't forget this insult, Professor. Remember, before we got caught, we could activate our new secret weapon. Thank <laughs> you.